What a better way to start off the day with some news regarding the PlayStation 4 and its sales as it naturally was the one of the main highlights of Sony's latest financial report with an impressive 4 million units shipped over the past 3 months. Now just for your FYI this information is for the quarter ending September the 30th of this year so obviously We've still got October, November, December to go, which of course is going to be a big rush for both uh, manufacturers. Now, Sony have highlighted a quote-unquote significant sales increase in the Games and Network Services division, which of course is where PlayStation rests its head. Now, it also called out, quote, an increase in PlayStation 4 software sales. Now, of course, as is to be expected, the increase in PS4 Software sales and hardware sales was of course offset by a decline in PS3 software sales and of course fluctuating currencies also did some digging into Sony's profit line. Now, even with all this in mind, the Game and Network division still saw a pretty nice increase in sales and operating revenue. 19.4% year on year increase in sales and operating revenue went to about 360.7 billion yen which is about 3 billion dollars not exactly a number to be sneezed at. Now this includes a fairly modest 4.8% increase in hardware sales however we saw a huge jump in network sales of 56.8% so this does include the PlayStation Store and the wider Sony Entertainment Network though. So it's not just PSN, it is the whole thing. Now as I said at the start of the video, Sony shipped 4 million PS4 units to retailers during quarter 2, bringing global total shipments to over 29 million to date. And they are predicting it will have shipped 17.5 million PS4 consoles by the end of the financial year. Now, in general, for the company, Sony had posted sales and operating revenue of 1,892.7 billion. How on earth you pronounce that? Your guess is as good as mine. Now, this is a year-on-year -year decrease, however, they manage an operating income of 88 billion yen, which is much, much better than the 85.6 billion loss on the same period one year ago. As we know, Sony were having a bit of trouble with their finances for quite a while. They seemed to be just losing money despite the fact that the PS4 had been so insanely successful. Of course, this has put on numerous things, mainly their mobile division, TVs and laptops not selling amazingly. And of course, they have been making cuts and a few other bits here and there to try and reduce their costs. And it seems to be paying off for them as they are now in the black. Now of course this is shipped to retailers, that 4 million figure is shipped to retailers. So that's not 4 million in the hands of consumers. That is important to remember, of course they haven't actually said one way or the other how many made it into the hands of gamers or how many are going to be sitting under games Christmas trees in a couple of months. But even if you say that you take off 1 million or 2 million even, it's still not bad at all, of course, without any figures from Microsoft, it's hard to say. Now I have had a pretty good look for solid figures from Microsoft for the Xbox One sales figures in the same period, but unfortunately they just haven't said, so it's impossible for me to really say. Of course, in the previous MPD report we knew that the PS4 had outsold the Xbox One, I will link that video in the description below if you haven't seen it. But we did also know that the Xbox One has seen an increase in sales year on year and that they are playing catch up with the PS4. So, regardless of all that, Sony is finally starting to recover from a rather troubled period. Hopefully they can keep this up and both companies can have an interesting race between them. I will say the sun blue in the face, competition breeds innovation and a curb stomp is not good for anybody regardless of which console you happen to prefer. Now of course Sony will eventually tell us what they've sold when they hit a milestone and something like that so it may not be too long before we get some more solid info but for now that is all I have for you. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.